Now that we know when the new prince was born and how much he weighs, everyone is wondering, what's his name going to be? The royal baby traditionally, well, it's noble names. They're steeped in history. But will the new parents buck tradition and go for something, oh, I don't know, more trendy? Let's go back to Lara now in London with more on that. Hey, Lara. Hello, Robin. My guess is they will stick with tradition. And, you know, we have no idea when the name will happen. Everybody's so excited about it. But it could take a while. The Queen waited a month to announce Charles's name. And they waited a, a week, week for, William. for William's name. So could be today, maybe not today. But what will it be? Everybody is guessing, including us. Talk about an air of mystery. The royal heir's name still unknown, but that hasn't stopped people from speculating. By George, he's got it. By George, he's got it. Actually, George isn't a bad guess. There have been six kings of England with that moniker, including Queen Elizabeth's father, George VI. The name James, also a contender, but if frequency is any indication, the Prince of Cambridge could be called Edward, a name shared by 11 past kings. The royal throne has also seen eight King Henrys, the real name of the newborn's royal uncle, Prince Harry. Of course, there's also the possibility Will and Kate could go with a name not steeped in royal history. No, we're not talking Northwest or Apple, but perhaps Francis. It's the middle name of Duchess Kate's father and grandfather, as well as Princess Diana's middle name. It's also likely the royal baby will have several names, like his dear old dad whose full name is William Arthur Philip Louis, or his grandfather, who is Charles Philip Arthur George. George is my guess. Amy? I'm going to go with James because it means the supplanter and seeing how this baby kicked uh, Prince Harry out of uh, the third in succession, I think James is appropriate. And I, of course, this is for you, George Stephanopoulos. What do you guys think? Okay. Oh, I'm going to go with tradition because they said four names, so I'm going with <laughs> George, Joshua, Stanley. Lucky. Lucky. That's a great name. Come on. That's a great name. What are the chances? That's the I was going to write George four times. George yeah. four times. Uh, I'm going to go. I, I, apparently, there's a lot of reasons why Amy stole them all, but Serena said yesterday, watching the special report, I think I'll name him James. So I'm going to go with James oh, okay. Jehoshaphat, just well, because. Because okay. I really want to see that name make a comeback if, if it was we'll ever see. here in the first we'll place. See. We should get an expert on this, though. <laughs> And that would be that man right there. Let's bring in Patrick, Patrick. Jefferson, who served as Princess Diana's chief of staff and private secretary for eight years. You have four names, don't you? I do. It's a terrible English habit. And it's terribly confusing. You know, when you come to America and they say, middle initial, you think, take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> what are your four names? Mine are Patrick, Desmond, Christian, Jeremy. Um, it's, it's literally a name check game for... Mm -hmm families, older families, right. and this is what they're going to be looking for with, uh, with the new baby. You know, they're going to be in there looking for traditional royal names, and there will be some that they feel really have to go in there. Well, that's Let me ask you that. Is there any name that has to be there as one of the four? Well, Stephanopoulos, I've heard, is going to be one of them. <laughs> We're just going to kill this joke. We're going to bang it into the ground. <laughs> until, until the very end. But Diana, she, kind of, she followed suit. Yes. I mean, obviously, this is a, um, it's almost a tribal thing here. You know, this is not just a celebrity. This is the, the head of the British mm. tribe that's been born. So the tribe expects to see the, the familiar names. And because the, the, the British navigate through their history by using kings and queens' names, I mean, Kate Blanchett, uh, you know, her character Elizabeth gave her name to a complete age, Victoria, a complete age, Henry VIII. Maybe this new baby, um, the new king, who will be, after all, the first king of the 22nd century, probably. That's true, right. His name will probably live in history, too, so they're going to have to get it right. Mm. Will the Queen, will she have a, a say? Um, I feel that the Queen's influence over this is benign and quite distant. Mm -hmm. They will, as a courtesy, I'm sure, want to, want to pass it in front of her first. Sure. Uh, but but uh, my guess is that they will stick with traditional royal names. And I would guess also there will be a nod towards... Um, the new the the new prince's grandparents uh, grandfather in particular mm -hmm. um prince charles um arthur is a popular name obviously one of william's names one of uh, the grandfather's names and the most legendary king's name of all in english history the knights of the round table and all yeah. that so i hope that's in there oh, well that'd be nice thank king you. arthur i'd yeah. like that oh, that's right. you are a delight thank you my thank pleasure you thanks much. patrick